guys ready for your first act? Yeah. 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 Put your hands together for Dutch Angles. Yeah. I'm in Dutch Angles. <laughs> yeah. Hey, we're Dutch Angles. Uh, I'm Peter. I'm Justin. My name is Brad. Hey, Brad. And uh, we're going to make a movie for you, a 15-minute movie. Um, so uh, we're going to, first thing we're going to do is put together the title of the movie. So I'm going to need actually two suggestions. Uh, so uh, uh, from this side of the audience, could you get a, a book title, like an actual book title? Catcher in the Rye. Catcher in the Rye. Cool. Uh, and from this side of the audience, could I get uh, just a made-up movie title, like something made up? Sure. How about it? What is it? It. Like it? the clown, ha, ha, the horror movie, right? Yeah, that one. Nice. Okay. Um, so we're going to combine those two suggestions, uh, and we're going to call our movie The Clown Catcher. <laughs> yeah. Yes. We open up in a grass field. It's Halloween evening, and uh, for some reason, all the neighborhood kids love hanging in the grass field on Halloween. And uh, we see in front of them that they had stolen a bunch of uh, candy bags from kids from the neighborhood. Oh, and oh. there's wrappers uh, just all over, kind of leading back to like the littlest, shrimpiest skinniest kid, but he's just like, he's just devouring candy. Ugh. Hey there, this is Skinny. You're yeah. the Thompson boy, aren't you? Yes, I'm, I'm Boo Thompson. <laughs> what do you want? I want to ask you a few questions. I just want to give you a warning. There's actually some stuff going down tonight. Really? There's been a lot of stolen bags. But now I'm more concerned about your nutrition. I'm eating. Uh, this is my special night. It's your on, special night you On Halloween Eve, I eat all the Halloween candy I can find. I take it. I steal it. I bring it to my special field. This I, is your special field? This is, yes, this is my special field. My father showed me this field and said, this shall be. Your special field, son. <laughs> All right. And that's I why believe I, you. But you seem, you seem to be scared of me. You're, you're, you're pointing your flashlight in my it's eyes. It's too bright. It's too bright. You are very pale. I'm Who sorry. are you and what are you doing I'm in my the, field? Uh, I'm Officer Johnston, and this is my like precinct. This is part of my district. I have to respond to things. They were like, there's a skinny dude out in my <laughs> yard eating a bunch of food. And I, I'm a little worried, to be honest with you, man. I'm like, why are you eating all that candy and stuff? I mean, you could be eating some other nutritious stuff. Okay. And if you're eating that much candy, why aren't you fat? Allow me my simple pleasures this one night. Tis Halloween night. Why do you speak in rhyme and poetry also? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a recluse. I live in my room and read a lot. That's why I speak this way. Well, that's good, but I don't know if that's going to make out well for a career. Did you say making out? That's a sin? Oh, yes. <laughs> I don't know much of that either myself. Officer Johnston, I have one humble request. Sure, do you mind if I put the, the light on you a bit? Because it's kind of scary hearing you in the dark. It hurts. It's actually spooky, and I'm a 45-year-old man. <laughs> it stings my pale flesh, the light does. All right, I'll keep it low. All right, Officer Johnston. I will, Let it I will out. vacate this. I will vacate this field that I call my own, if it is the wish of your precinct. Yes, it is, but uh, you but know you what? I, I feel bad for you, and I think if you could just keep it down and stop saying poetry and rhyme and verse in the field, you're scaring people. This town is scared. What are they afraid of? A skinny boy yes. in the field? You look like a, horror, like a horror film, like a villain. That's offensive. I'm a human being. I have feelings, you know? This isn't coming from me. This is from the whole town. The whole town actually is written. You never seen your picture on the boards everywhere? Yes, I thought I thought that was because they were such big fans. All right, Johnston, I'm here as backup. All right. I thought there was uh, supposed to be some candy wrappers or Who something. Who is this? In this Officer Wales? Yeah, Ron Wales. I thought there was a skinny, skinny kid. I he is. He's right there. Johnston, there's no one there. What? You, got, you fell for the oldest Halloween prank of all. The fake skinny kid eating candy. Classic. 
Classic. No rappers. That should have been clue number one. Maybe clue I number two, no skinny kid. Maybe I should have had dinner tonight. Yeah. I should have skipped out Maybe of dinner. Maybe you should have. I'm going back to the base and bomb for apples. So now you know the terrible secrets. Yeah, you're dead. I'm dead and I'm in your head. In no, your you're head. in this field too. In your head and I am dead. This is my song. So I'm going to put my light on you from now on. There's no reason why I have to. Well, now you know why the pale light skins my flesh. Because <laughs> the flesh of a ghost cannot suffer the light of a flash. <laughs> I have come back from the dead, Officer Johnston. You're touching me. You feel real to me. It's in your mind, but Isn't also it? I am a real ghost. Yeah. And in your mind, I'm not even I've scared, come to be honest with you. I've seen you. some terrible stuff in this town. I've, ha I've come to help you to catch my killer. Oh, you were murdered? I was murdered in this we, field, which I called You know what? We, we jump cut to the next morning, and Officer Johnston wakes up with a start. sound weird. Sure. You don't need to fold my clothes now. I won't. All right. <laughs> oh, those are lovely. Thank you. They're all saints earrings. They're supposed to protect me from spirits. Oh, well, this is what I got to tell you. I don't know. He might have traveled back with me. I'm not sure. He might be in this house. But I saw a ghost last night. The little uh, the farm boy. I guess it was a murder. I had no idea. Little Boo? Yeah, Little Boo. And he was like eating, ravaging like new candy, like candy from this era. But he was talking like he was from the 1800s. He was murdered in yeah. the 1800s. Everyone who grew up here knows it. Well, I seen him. He even touched me, put his arm around me. And I wasn't trying to cheat. <laughs> I wasn't All right, until well, you you're always, said so. Well, you're always accusing me, you know, every time I talk about, you know, my new partners and stuff. Oh, don't, don't get me started on Hanbury. Uh, we cut to 15 minutes later. They're both in the car now, and uh, his, Officer Johnston's wife is driving him to work because he doesn't have a license. The, their conversation continues oh. as if it's unbroken. I'm just saying, seeing a ghost is pretty scary. Yeah, but you know what? For some reason, I felt like this was like, you know I don't have many friends. And I guess I actually like this kid. And he was spooky, but at the same time, there was something good about him. And I want to I wanna, I wanna investigate his murder. It's a cold case going back over 120 years. I'm going to heat it up, and I'm going to bring it, I'm going to make it happen. We cut to 15 minutes later. They're sitting across from each other at a library table. They're just poring over dusty old books. Uh, yearbooks, uh, just old photographs. They're, uh, they're just, he has a magnifying glass that he's just kind of peering through. Uh, a beam of light goes through the magnifying glass and sets something on fire, but they re they're able to put it out really quickly. Oh, I was so distracted. So many people were named Gaylord. Weird. <laughs> so weird. This town. Maybe it was like the town was. Officer Johnston? Have you made any progress? Can you see him? Can I see who? Gaylord? No. There's like 50 of them. The, she can't see me. The Only you can see me. Watch. Ooh, I'm stupid. I'm your wife. Don't do that to my wife. <laughs> she doesn't know I did it. I've been married for her for 18 years. No one's ever did that to her. Watch. I'm going to really spook her. Whoop. Ah. <laughs> That's the goo boy. It's not the draft. This, you know this library doesn't have an AC. <laughs> Why would he do something like that? Because he wanted to prove to you that he's real to me. And you, sort of. Okay. Can you ask him why there were so many Gaylords? Why were there so many Gaylords? Officer Johnston, you're wasting your time with these crazy I'm wasting questions. my time with the crazy you're questions. You're wasting your time. The solution is right before you. It's right in front of you. So that you have to look harder, Officer Johnston. Okay, so you have to find my killer, the clown. Oh. Did you see a clown in any of these yearbooks? Not really. I, let me see here. 
or like the local paper, or maybe yes. the rodeo. The there were rodeos books. in town. Oh, the, the yearbooks. yearbooks. Look in the yearbooks. Gaylord, Gaylord. Class clown. That's what he's looking for. Yes, Officer Johnston. Oh. Truly, you are the great detective that is here. all the other ghosts say you are. Yes. Hey, this, this ghost is making me feel really smart. Class clown was Josiah Wales. Josiah Wales? Yeah. I remember Josiah. I remember my partner so well. We, uh, we dissolve to a flashback. Uh, we're in a classroom uh, in uh, the 1800s. There's two boys. Uh, one is uh, recognizably Boone Thompson, and the other is we recognize to be uh, Josiah Wales. Hey. Yes? A fart on you. <laughs> I, I don't like being spoken to, and I am a recluse. <laughs> Always in your tower and reading. Always in my tower and reading, except for the special day when I get to go eat sweets. Mm. You know the sweetest thing about you is that you're so often in your tower and not here! Ha ha ha! Another I, win for Wales! Wales, <laughs> good stuff! Thank you, sir. I don't know if that's a compliment or not. I'm not good at picking up on social cues. Oh. I'm just an awkward little waif boy. A hey, waif boy? Yeah. More like Necco wafer boy. What? Because <laughs> you're low sweets. The 1800s, what are those? <laughs> right, I'm pretty sure Necco wafers were around now, are around now. Yeah, I'm checking now. They were there. OK. Thank you. Yeah, man. <laughs> cool. You're so cool, Josiah. Hey, uh, I don't know. This is me crazy, but. You're cool. I mean, if I hang out with you, I'd be cool, too. Do you want to go to my field sometime and, like, hang out and eat the candy? It's my one special time. We cut to 15 hours later. They're in the field. This is my field, Josiah. Look. Here's where I hide all the neighborhood candy. Oh, well, you're right. Necco wafers are a thing. Yeah. <laughs> sure are. Oh, boy. Thanks for coming out here. Everybody says you're mean and a clown, but I don't think so. I mean, what do I know? I'm just a, a, a pale waif. But, uh, what do you want to talk about? Do you want to talk about girls? Is that something we talk about in the 1800s? Would you like to eat this sweet? Boy, would I? It's not modified in any way. No <laughs> need to examine it. Here, smell my boutonniere first. Let me give it a smell. Squirt! Oh! Oh! <laughs> oh. oh. We cut close to his face, and we just see it's just blood. <laughs> this blood running down. Oh! <laughs> That water was filled with rock salt. It sure <laughs> was. What a fun joke. Yes. You're a fun guy. All right, I'm going to eat this candy. That it hasn't been modified in any way. What did you do? Excessive bismuth. What did you do? Bicarbonate of soda. Um, right, come back to the library, my whales. been put together. You just have to assemble them, Officer Johnston. They're all there. I think we know the murder, but I mean, it's going to be hard to actually, like, press the guy that you killed who's dead. You can't catch the clown? What do you want me to do? Like, make a, like, a movie about it or something? But, you know, the clown's not alive anymore. Well, one of the things I've learned about law in all my time being your wife is that if a if somebody did a crime a long time ago, you can prosecute their descendants for it. The sins of our fathers are visited upon the oh, prison sentences Johnson. of our sons. That, I'd have to go after my partner, Ronnie Wales. I mean, that's what the law says. Go after Wales, Johnston. You know what All to right. do. Okay, everybody put your hands in. Trust me on this one. Does that, that feel creepy? Do you feel the ghost hand? Does that feel I creepy? Don't, I, wait, hang on, that hang, feel on hang on, let me take off the earrings. Now I feel a little something. Ooh, that feels yeah. super creepy. <laughs> <laughs> we zoom in an overhead pan of the shots of the hands, and then as we get closer, it cuts to a black screen, and the title screen at the end reads, The End. And underneath it says, To be continued in the Clown Catcher 2. <laughs>
guys.